Hey everyone, this is the Millionaire Hippies Podcast with your host, Boom Shika, where we chat about spirituality, business, and health. We all want to live self-actualizing, fulfilling lives with joy, prosperity, and gratitude. Let's go on this beautiful journey together. Hey everyone, welcome to another podcast episode. I am again so grateful that you guys are choosing to listen to me. I've had so many messages from so many listeners telling me that they really enjoy the content that I'm putting out and they're really learning from me. So again, I'm really grateful for your time, your energy, and for the messages. Today's podcast is all about some of my writing experience and why I believe that if you are a writer or a creative person at all, which I believe everyone is, then I think that we should be focusing or trying to focus on making that reason why we create to be something internal rather than something external. For example, I was having a chat with a friend of mine recently and I asked him why he wrote and he's a writer and he's been writing for a long time, um, 20, 25 years. The reason that he gave me was he wrote because he wanted to influence just one person to stop them from either committing suicide or going from the deep end to the shallow end or going from a point where they're feeling bad about something to a point where they feel good about it. And in all of these reasons, I realized that there was a common thread that it was not about him. The writing wasn't about him specifically, but it was about something external to him. And I kind of had a warning signal, like a warning bell going off in my head because I realized that when there is an external source of consolation about our writing, then if anything externally comes at us in terms of feedback or rejection, then our writing is completely devastated. And that was the case with this individual as well because as soon as he got rejected from the outside, from all these people that he wanted to change or influence, if one of them even said to him, that he was not doing things right or he should be changing things or he's not a good writer or anything of that sort, instantaneously he felt like giving up on his writing. And that's not what we want to do. We do not want to attribute any of our writing to someone outside of ourselves. We do not want to do it for someone outside of ourselves. We do not want to do it, do any of our creative acts because we want to get accolades from the outside. Because as soon as we start doing that, that is going to change the whole perception of our writing. It's going to change why we write. And so we need to try, try to bring that reason back to something within us. For example, for me, the reason I write, and I've learned this over the years, I used to be exactly like this individual whose reasons were outside of him. I, my reasons were always outside of myself. I wanted to write because I wanted to be a best-selling author so I could be famous, so I could be rich, so I could get accolades so I could be, you know, whatever it might be. It was all external to me. And then as soon as I realized that I'm writing because I just want to write because I think writing makes me come alive and I would write even if there were no accolades and I would write and I'm going to write for the rest of my life. As soon as I had that epiphany, I realized that I wasn't writing for anyone else. I was writing for myself and I'm going to keep on writing for myself until the day I die. Every single day I'm going to write thousands of words because that is what makes me come alive. And I, I, there's a quote like that, I don't remember now who said it, but they said that all we need to do, all we need to do as human beings is to come alive. That's the only task we have to be on this planet, I believe is Alan Watts. And he said that the only reason we're here, the reason, the main ultimate reason that we're here as human beings is to be to come completely alive, to become completely alive, to, to come alive, and to be alive, truly alive. And that's all that matters. We run around thinking that we have to do more, but that's nothing. That's not what we're supposed to be doing here. We're running around in a panic thinking that we have to do more, we have to be more, we have to be doing something more. But that's not, about, that's not what life is about. Life is about coming alive. And for me, writing thousands of words every single day in my own way, for my own audience, for myself, is what makes me come alive. And so that's all I do my writing for. It does not matter if no one on this planet reads it. It does not matter if I get rejected or if I get accolades. It doesn't matter if someone says that I'm an amazing writer. Actually, 
in fact, I get a little bit apprehensive when people tell me that I'm a great writer because that's not what I'm writing for. I'm not writing, of course I want to become better and better at it, but I'm not writing so that I can get appreciation or praise. It's nice to receive that, but when you receive appreciation or praise, it kind of convolutes or changes the reason for your writing. So when I start getting a lot of appreciation or a lot of praise, I start thinking, oh, I want more of that, I want more of that, and I kind of change my reason inside of myself and I have to really bring myself back and realize okay this is not the reason you're doing it this is not the reason you're writing it's not you're not writing so you can get people to comment on your posts you're not re writing so you can get people to praise you for your writing because what happens is that if we focus only on that outside praise or outside accolades what happens is that when we don't receive anything like that because that those moments will come those moments will come where no one is reading your writing and no one is appreciating it and no one is commenting on it, when those moments come, you'll feel like giving up on writing because you're going to think that you're not a good writer or you're going to think you're not a creative person, you're going to think you're not a good musician. Whatever your creative act is, you're going to think that you're crap at it because no one is appreciating you for it. And as soon as it happens, it's a big, big warning sign for you because you have to be careful of that because that is not the reason you should quit. There is no reason you should quit, really, but that's the worst reason to quit is because you're getting no accolades from the outside. People are fickle, and also people have no idea what good writing is or worse is bad, really, if you think about it, because some really, really, really bad writing gets lots of accolades, and some really, really, really good writing gets lots of critics. So really, people don't know what is good or bad, but it's just what's the flavor of the month. So sometimes they'll like what you're doing, and they're gonna love you, and they're gonna, say lots of nice things to you and some days they're going to hate you or say nothing to you or reject you. If you kept on believing that the outside world is going to be the people who are going to tell you exactly how your writing is supposed to be, then as soon as someone says anything bad to you, you're going to stop writing or you're going to stop doing creative acts. And that's not how you want to do it, right? Because it doesn't matter what other people say. We're writing because we want to write, because we're doing it because of a reason inside of us. It's a reason that makes us come alive. It's a reason that makes us feel complete. It makes us feel whole. It makes us feel authentic. It makes us feel true to our purpose on this planet. That's the reason I write. And I'm sure there's some related reasons that you will write if you look deeper than yourself. So I asked this individual that I started the story off with that go inside of yourself and figure out what is that reason for yourself that you're writing. Because it's not something to do with the outside world, really. If you think about it, when we first picked up a pen to write a story when we were young children, we didn't do it because we thought that someone else would give us accolades for it. We had no idea what that meant even. We didn't know why someone would appreciate our writing. That's not something that we knew of. But we wrote because there was something that was inside of us that was calling to us to write. It was telling us, go on and write. There's some stories inside of you and you have to write. And this is coming from inside of us. It didn't come from outside of us. It came from inside of us. And so we did the writing. And then we got some accolades for it, and that was great. But then what happened is that we associated writing with those accolades. We associated writing with that praise that we received from our English teacher, or from our parents, or from our friends, or our siblings. And we stopped writing when we didn't get those accolades. That is the really, really deep, horrible black connection that you need to avoid. It's the dark connection that really, really has to be avoided by all creative people because we do not want to fluctuate on our creative act based on outside accolades. Like I said, people are fickle. Some days people will be really attentive to your creative acts and they'll be really loving towards them. Other days they're going to be hateful towards them. If you start listening to the people around you, then some days you would create and some days you won't. Well, how do you know which days are going to be good, which days are going to be bad? You don't know. You don't know when people are going to be fickle or when they're going to be good. All we can do is create every single day. All we can do is write thousands of words every single day. People might come and like it. People might not come and not like it. But that doesn't matter. That's external to you and that's inconsequential to our writing. It's inconsequential to our creative acts. We're going to keep on creating. We're going to keep on doing because that is what we do. That is what we're here to do. That is what is calling us from the inside out to do. And if we didn't write, if I didn't write, if I don't write some days, and I have those days when I'm traveling or I'm busy and I don't write even a single word, that day is a waste to me. It's a day that I did not live true to my purpose. I didn't live truly alive. 
And it was a date that was completely wasted. And in fact, I feel like I should be writing more. I write for two or three hours a day, max, because writing is also a very, you know, mentally challenging act. And so I write for a few hours a day, but I want to be writing more. I want to be writing more and more and more. I wish every single moment of my day could be taken up with writing. I'm not writing enough in my opinion. I want to be writing more. But once I realize that I'm writing for myself, I do it for myself. And those days when I don't write are wasted days. You know, those are days that I didn't live true to my purpose. So my true goal with every single day is to ensure that I write my words and I write as many words as possible so that I can be truly alive. And no matter what happens on the outside, no matter what people say to me, I'm still going to write. And I really want you guys to think about your own reason for writing. Is it something external to you? If it is, cancel that reason out and bring that reason back to something within you. Because you started writing not because you wanted praise, but because it's something that you need to do. So you need to remember that fact and come back to it. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Thank you again for listening. My name is Boom Shekha, and I appreciate your time and energy. If you guys have any questions at all, you can message me at any time at boomshekha at themillionairehippie.com. Join the Millionaire Hippie Club, which is a free private Facebook group if you're interested. And you can check out my coaching program at boomshekha.live. Talk to you guys next time around. Bye for now.